Hi everybody, welcome back. My name's Claire. I've got a little commission to do now, a really fun commission. Um, it's going to be a rainbow swipe on a little 30 centimetre square canvas. Um, and it's a gift for somebody who loves Tinkerbell and loves sparkly things. So um, I'm going to, I think, somehow do a silhouette of Tinkerbell on it once it's dry um, with some stars, some glitter, some sparkle. Um, she just likes lots of sparkle so and so do I so um, I'm really looking forward to doing this so first of all I'm going to do a rainbow swipe with silicon so let me show you the colors I'm using so these are the colors that I'm using so I have five Amsterdam colors this one is uh, magnesium blue phthalo king's blue red violet light ultramarine violet and Persian rose two De La Rowney colours, so yellow, cadmium yellow hue and pearl white, and then five Pebio Studio Acrylics colours. Um, so they these are iridescent ones, iridescent red, blue, orange, yellow, gold, and green, blue, and then the light ultramarine blue. So I've mixed all these paints with my PVA glue and water pouring medium. Um, I've tried to make them a bit thinner. So I've actually gone for two parts PVA, two parts pouring medium to one part paint by weight. So in each of my little pots here, I've mixed 28 grams of pouring medium and 14 grams of paint. Uh, for, yeah, 14 grams of paint. So the consistency, they've got lots of air bubbles at the moment, which is why they're just sitting the, the consistency is a little bit thinner, a little bit runnier. I'm going to be adding this. It's in a cup because it's split. Um, and it's spot on treadmill silicon. I'm going to put that in each colour. But the reason I want this to be a bit thinner is because I'm going to swipe, but I want some cells to pop up, but without tilting this. I'm not going to tilt the painting. So I want them to cells to pop up by themselves just by torching. Um, so making them a bit thinner, I think, will help with that. Just putting my paints away and I realised I've also used this paint, so Artina Green. So I've mixed that. That one is this, this one here. So Artina Green. As I said, it's a 30 centimetre canvas. I've put push pins in the back, hammered those in and then put my spirit level on top of the canvas just to check that it's level, which it is. Um, you'll see some lines. So I haven't actually counted. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I started with this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is my rainbow plus just a little bit extra. So um, it's going to be, as you can see, just um, part of a rainbow. I want to drizzle on a few colours in each band. And then I want to swipe the band at the same time, maybe, maybe with one big swipe, but probably with a few smaller swipes. But they'll overlap a little bit because <clears throat> I quite like it just to blend. So instead of it being very separate, distinct bands for it to blend a little bit. Um, so I'm just thinking where to start with the red, because obviously I don't have to start. I can start wherever I want to because it's almost like a continuous rainbow. Should I start up here? I think I will. I think I'll start here. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, and then red. Unless I do red in here, and that means I've got the pinky here. No, I'm going to start. I'm going to start here with the red. <clears throat> so um, I actually thickened up my paint. So I said um, when, when I was um, showing you the paints a minute ago, I said that I made them two parts pouring medium to one part paint. So I did that. But I have then since decided um, a few hours later, which is now that that's too thin. So I've gone back to what I think would be my more normal consistency of about five to four, so five parts uh, pouring medium to four parts paint. So I'm going to just, oh, do you know what? One thing I've just thought of, I've only got one red and that was deliberate. So I can't just do a red band. So if I did a red, orange and yellow band, and then a green and blue band, and then a purple and pink band, and then started it again. 
I think I'm going to have to do that. That's absolutely fine. So it's going to be a very um, different sort of rainbow. So let's just pour some on. I don't want too much paint on because I'm not going to be able to tilt this. Because if I tilt it, then I'll start losing the shape. And then I'll dab it in a minute and then I might push a little bit off. Um, okay, so that's yeah. Let's go with that. So now let's have the green band. I've just got to make sure I keep to that shape though, haven't I? It's down there. And there. I also would quite like some quite pastely tones to this. So I am going to drizzle some white over the whole thing. It's all covered so now let's get swiping so I've got these just little pieces of plastic so I think I'm and they're quite they're firm but they're they're also quite flexible so I think I'm going to swipe with those and I think my my aim will be I think to swipe like that this will be the most difficult bit so I think I might just start in the middle and just, I want to swipe with the flow of the rainbow. So I'm just gonna start here and I'm gonna deliberately start with some overlapping colors. Right, do you know what I just realised? I didn't put the white in. How annoying. I'm so annoyed with myself. So it's not very pastely, it's very bright, which I love. Um, but I meant to put the white on. What I'm going to do next is go back and do some more swipes. I think in the opposite direction, actually, to try and balance the paint out a bit more, but with some thinner um, bits of plastic now so for example this one didn't work so well it, it lost contact here so I'm now just going to go back and swipe the other way but with just a smaller one Right, I'm not sure I should have done that simply because I'm right handed and that ended up being wiggly. Let's go back. Add more control. Going this way. Yeah, that's better. That's a straighter line.
It's so pretty. I'm really, really happy with it. So these cells just need to catch up. These ones have expanded quite nicely. These ones just need to catch up. This has to be the brightest, most fun pour I've ever done. I love it. I'm so, so pleased with it. Let me show you. The details are beautiful. So because they're just big bands of colour, it, it's much more subtle. The cells um, are, are there, but because they're all blended with similar coloured paints, uh, other cells, um, it's quite subtle, which I really like. So all the greens together, obviously, all the, the pinks, oranges. I love the little white cells peeking through there. The blues and then the greens. Really, really pleased. I'd be interested to do this again, I think, with adding the white. Um, so what I will do now is contact the customer and say, did she want a bright rainbow or did she want the more pastel rainbow that I, I had anticipated that I thought I would be doing, but just forgot the white? Um, give her the choice. Great, because if she doesn't want this one, I will certainly keep it or do something else with it. Right, I'll be back when it's dry. So I showed the customer the really bright rainbow um, and she agreed with me that it, it was really bright and actually that by once I've embellished it with Tinkerbell and the stars, I think the background was just too bright and too detracting. So what I'm showing you now, I did this 10 minutes after, um, it's, a, it's exactly the same as the previous one but I'm going to add the white on top and it creates a much more pastel effect. Um, the customer also said that the the person who this, this is going to be for, her favourite colour is pink. So I've moved around the colours. So I've put pink in the biggest band across the rainbow to try and emphasise it. And then I'm blending the colours a lot more this time. So I'm, as you can see, I'm just I'm putting the different colours over different bands, just really trying to get the really good blend. Um, also, instead of just putting the paint on in the line of the direction of the rainbow, I actually did it at right angles so that when I swipe, I didn't get just lines. I got, um, I got a, more, a more blend of colours within each band. Um, so what I'm doing now is just dabbing the canvas so that there's no bare patches of canvas. Um, and then I'll get swiping. So they're now both dry. I love them both. They are so different. Um, this one is so more relaxing and peaceful. This one is so just bright in your face and vibrant. I really like them both. Um, the customer um, has chosen the lighter one, which, uh, which I think works better for what, what we're gonna be doing with it next. Uh, but let me show you them both close up. This one is quite subtle in terms of the cells but just so incredibly bold um, in terms of the colours and the colours next to each other. So there's, a, there's less blending of the colours and they are just so, so bright um, where I forgot to add the white. So I love this painting, really, really happy with it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but the, I will be doing something special with it, I think. Um, but in contrast... Um, you've got this wonderful pastel effect. Now, this one has more cells 
and the cells have expanded. You'll see some lines. I've already drawn Tinkerbell on there, so that, that's, that's the lines you can see. The cells have expanded, so they kind of all merge into one, which I think is perfect for this, because this is just the background um, to the main design of this um, piece of art. Um, so I'm really happy with that. So yeah, I've drawn Tinkerbell. Um, so here she is. I printed something online. I've cut it out. I then placed it, um, blue tacked it onto the canvas and I've drawn around it. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is painting that in black. Um, so we've got her silhouette. So I think this has to be one of the happiest paintings I have ever done. Everything about it makes me smile. I love the rainbow, so happy with it. I love Tinkerbell. I love what my, the client wanted me to write, one in a million. That must be some sort of message for her friend. Um, and then I've also added on, you can see just some sort of confetti, um, sort of um, sequiny stars. Um, she likes glittery things, so um, I thought the sticking on the stars would work really well. I've also gone over one in a million and also Tinkerbell with the pearlescent black because it just looked to me, it just looked a bit too dark and a bit too solid. So I've actually gone over with the shimmery black because that just gives it a slightly charcoal gray look as opposed to really intense black. And I just think that works a bit, works better. And then when it's varnished, it will really, really shimmer and really sparkle. Um, so let me show you up close. Um, I just love the way all the colours blend. So, so pleased with it. And I love that stark line um, against the black against, or the charcoal grey against all these bright colours. I'm just so pleased with it. It's just so, so happy. I definitely want to do another swipe like this because I, I, I just love it. Maybe not in a rainbow, but maybe just in two or three tones. I think I just like the composition of it. Um, so I think and I think it's just quite effective. I love the fact that you've got that white, that pearl white drizzles all over this so that it, it gives a sort of pastel-y um, and different different shades to the different colours. So there it is. So please let me know what you think. Leave me any comments. Um, I'd love to hear what you've got to say about this painting. And um, please do subscribe to my channel. Great. Thanks for watching. Bye.